And you know, she's one of the traitors. Tough enough. Exactly. Your friend show, no doubt. This review may cause some stratisfaction. For today I have from Mattel's WWE Elite Collection WrestleMania 40 Build-A-Figure line. She is a Hall of Famer and one of the GOATs. She is Trish Stratus. This Trish Stratus figure is part of a brand new Build-A-Figure line to build Nicholas right there, whom you may remember tag-teamed with Braun Strowman at WrestleMania 34. Trish comes with the legs, as you may be able to see right there. I don't plan to get any other figure from this line to build Nicholas. I'm just going to get rid of the legs by selling them. And speaking of this figure... I also got another one, and I also ordered a loose one. I'm going to customize all three Trish figures. For this figure, I'm going to give her this shirt that I sort of made, that I gave to the original version. And then the other one, I'm going to make it to a younger blonde Trish by swapping out the head for this one. This is the head that came with the two-pack Trish China set. And, of course, this Jack's Trish shirt, which I actually bought again because I sold my old custom Trish that had this shirt. Those two I will do in this video, but the third one I obviously can't do because I don't have it, but it's going to be the basis for my long-awaited and much frustrated custom Rhea Ripley figure. But enough about what I'm going to do later down the road. Let's talk about now. So before I take Trish out of the packaging, let's take a closer look at Trish in the packaging. Since this is a WrestleMania Build-A-Figure line, it has the WrestleMania 40 logo. And unfortunately, I can't go next year to WrestleMania. It's just too much. There is a beautiful picture of a much more seasoned Trish Stratus. There's Nicholas. And on the back, there she is pointing her stats, her highlights, and a brief read-up. The WWE Women's Division legend teamed with John Morrison and Snooki to defeat Dolph Ziggler and Lay Cool at WrestleMania 27. A match that a lot of people probably forgot about. And there's Nicholas. There's his legs. And here he goes to get in the line. John Cena, The Rock, Pat McAfee, and of course, Trish Stratus. But now, without any further delay, let's get Trish Stratus out of the packaging by helping her soar to the stratosphere. And here is the brand new Elite WrestleMania Trish Stratus figure. And I can already tell this is a much needed improvement over the last version. But before I take a closer look at the figure, let's take a closer look at the accessories she comes with. She comes with two pairs of interchangeable fingerless gloved hands, a pair of pointy finger hands which doesn't appear to be painted flesh in the fist but I guess that's okay and a pair of mic holding hands she also comes with the legs to build Nicholas they're baggy sweatpants with a white stripe going down the legs and the shoes have white soles now on to Trish here is her face which uses the true effects. And here is the previously released version of this figure. This was part of the Hall of Fame line. Definitely huge improvement. This one has double jointed elbows. This one does not. This one, the painted on band, has much more detail than this one. Of course, the hands are interchangeable. These are not. 
This one is on ball joints. This one is not, especially when you compare this. This one has double joint and ease. This one does not. Same boots though. Here's the back of both. This one actually has more detail in the pocket than this one did. This one says Brunetta Mafia. So is this one. But the font size looks different. This one's bigger than this one. And the top looks thinner than this one. Here they are standing side by side. Another difference I almost overlooked. This one has a logo on the boot. The old one does not. Same on the side. The only good thing about this Trish Strass figure was that she came with the Women's Championship. Even though when Trish looked like this, she didn't have the Women's Championship. That's why these two did not come with one. Just extra hands and Nicholas. Half of them. So now let's take this away and start customizing. Here's one and here's two. And I gotta say, they both turned out pretty good. Luckily, since the head was able to easily come off, I was able to put this shirt right on and heat up the head a little bit, this one that is, and put it on. And voila. Now I may swap out the legs or the boots or the hands, but for now, it's fine the way it is, especially this one. Now let's bring the old one back in, and that just about wraps up this review and customization. So tell me, what do you guys think? And which version of Trish do you prefer more? Classic blonde or semi-modern brunette? Let me know down in the comments below, but until the next review I do, I will see you soon. Three Trish Strass figures in one review? Now that's stratifying.